Now, if going to a haunted morgue is your thing, you're not alone. From watching scary movies to dressing up in creepy costumes, seven in 10 Americans plan to celebrate Halloween somehow. So why do some people get such a kick out of being scared? What is so fun about fear? Here to break it down for us is Michelle Bedard Gilligan. Dr. Gilligan is a professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at the University of Washington School of Medicine. Welcome, welcome to Thank New you. Day. Thank you, Kelly. Glad to be here. I'm <laughs> so interested in this topic because, like I said, I do not like being scared. So why is it that you think some people absolutely love being scared? Yeah, I think it's more that people like being scared when they're actually safe, right? So, Got it. Yeah, so when we think about the things we do on Halloween and it's really about feeling fear, even though we know somewhere in our brain that it's not actually dangerous, right? Yeah. And the fear response is one that's there for a really good reason. You know, we're evolutionary programmed to feel fear. It keeps us safe most of the time. And it involves kind of complex, you know, processes in the brain, right? So when we're afraid, we have kind of a, a rush of hormones that get released, cortisol and adrenaline and dopamine, which is also connected to kind of pleasure and our experience of pleasure and reward. And so when we're feeling fear um, in those situations that are actually safe, we're getting that hormone rush, right? Um, but we're also not in danger. And so True. for some people, that's pretty fun and exciting. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I could see it if it feels like maybe the same as like working out, like those endorphins, yeah. like, you know, like that yeah. kind of fun feeling. Yeah. I just, I might not be getting pumped with <laughs> enough um, to feel good about that. And there's also a social aspect Absolutely. to fear. So talk to me about that. Yeah. Yeah. So when we're getting scared in these situations that not, aren't actually dangerous, our brain is doing that hard work, right? So when we're in a situation that might be dangerous, there's parts of our brain that are sensing that possible danger, the amygdala in particular. Um, but then there's other parts of the brain, like the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex that are that higher order processing pieces that are able to tease apart the context and to really say, like, is this safe or is this dangerous? And and that's the part of the brain that's telling us it's not actually dangerous, even though we're feeling fear in that moment. And so then what we're left with are some of those sensations you just talked about, like racing hard and that kind of feel like excitement, right? Yeah. And we're often doing it with other people. So we're doing it in a social environment. We're in the haunted house. Well, not your brave colleague, but we're in the haunted <laughs> yeah. house with other people, right? We're doing True. it like in a group environment where we're watching other people's reactions. We're looking at them have the same reactions as us, or maybe they're having more or less reactions than us. And we're reading them for that and it's kind of a human connection kind of thing. I was thing. gonna say, yeah. it's like a bonding experience, yeah. I guess, if you're yeah. getting scared together, which Absolutely. is really cool. Yeah. And do you think this is something that's unique to our culture? No, I think that um, we see it in other cultures as well. I mean, how we celebrate Halloween is somewhat unique to our culture. Other cultures celebrate it differently. Um, but I would say across cultures, we see people seek out these experiences from roller coasters to, you know, haunted houses to scary movies, right? right those kind of bleed across lines for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And let's talk about, you know, people like me that don't like being scared. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think that is? <laughs> it's a good question. There's a lot of, you know, inner, like, inner uh, person variability Right? right, in terms of how much people seek out these experiences, probably has some to do with like sensation seeking and how how high we are on kind of that that kind of scale of personality. Um, but I also think that there's a, um, a f after we feel fear, after we survive these scary experiences, we have kind of a like a, a burst of um, mastery or a burst of confidence that we did it right, that we got Ooh. through it, and that can feel really good. Um, we feel you know you watch all those people come out of the haunted house and they're like cracking up, right? They're laughing and they're so celebrating the fact that they made it through. Um, and it's so, empowering, yeah, I guess, for absolutely. some people, maybe. Absolutely, right? I love yeah. that. And do you have, or can you speak on, I guess, somebody that might have a certain personality trait that mm. likes being scared? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can tell me about that? It's a good question. You know, I think the sensation seeking, so people okay. can seek out that kind of thing more generally. Um, but then I think if you've had those experiences where you've you've had that reward associated with the being scared, mm. you're more likely to seek it out again. So if you went in a big group of people and you had a really fantastic time and it was fun and it was a bonding experience, you're gonna wanna do it again, right? And so it sort of builds, we learn over time, right? And we, and we might continue to seek them out after we've had positive. Those adrenaline yeah, junkies, totally. I guess, and thrill seekers. I need to maybe get out of the box, if you will, to stay on theme. Thank you so much for yeah. being here and yeah. sharing this information. It was super fun yeah. and exciting.